My name is Chris. I'm a world famous bingo guy here in Blacksburg. I don't need more of a name than that. Hey, Blacksburg, Virginia. Guess what? It's Wednesday night. You have found yourself in a world famous Shark Tank. That can mean only one thing awesome bingo. Yeah, so I work at Sharky's. It's a great place. It's where good friends go. It's wonderful. Um, I think I need to say that. Just kidding. But we uh, we started doing bingo once upon a time at Sharky's while I was working there, and I was not the bingo guy. Basically, they were like, "Hey, man, you have a personality. You want to host bingo?" And I said, "Yes. Why not? I'd like to have a microphone in my hand and an audience to listen to me." Uh, and it's that kind of power that I get every week of the audience and, and the microphone. And it's pretty much just a huge rush and I love it. I love manipulating the people's brains. I can make them happy or sad. It's whatever I want to do. They don't have a choice. It's my power. Um, but that's how it all began. And then I was an instant success. Like It was just like an overnight success story. Uh, you know, this kind of thing you see in specials on television about just like an instant rise to fame. <laughs> Um, well, there have been several crazy nights, and those are the nights that, um, I don't know, it just gets chaotic. It's like this party, and I'm in the middle of it. It's, it's not quite the calm eye of a storm, but it's kind of like that. It's still pretty uh, turbulent, but it, it's like being in the eye of a storm. And it's as silly as it seems, it's uh, hard to focus on actually doing bingo, because bing doing bingo is really not a strenuous thing. You, know, you roll a thing and get a number and call a number out. But in the most chaotic moments, it's hard to even hold on to that. Ridiculous, but I do, I have followers. Uh, I get spotted in public, as dumb as that is. Um, and it's fun, it's not, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to sound all snotty. I'm like, oh my God, I'm number one Blacksburg guy. But being somewhere and having, and you know, being with other people and having some random person I don't know interrupt everything and want to like make sure that they know that I know, that they know who I am. I, I don't know. It's, and at the same time, they're not hounding me for autographs and there's not like paparazzi, which I guess drives real celebrities crazy. I just get the cool like acknowledgement, which is the fun part. Well, moments from Bingo. Um, it's all kind of this crazy blur, but sometimes things do stand out. Uh, having, having co-workers slip me secret notes that beg me to call out the numbers on their sheets, beg me to call them out because they want to impress someone. Asking me as a friend, not as a coworker, as a friend, to bend my morals and cheat at this game that I've given, been given control and power over. And then what happens? Friend doesn't even notice that I abuse it. I call out friends, special little numbers, nothing, nothing. So all that. I break my moral code, I, I, I turn evil, I turn to the dark side, and they don't even notice. How about that? So there you go. There's a lesson in people for you. Uh, another time, I don't even know how to get into details with this, I, you know, people enjoy the celebrity factor of the bingo guy, I guess. Uh, spent a small amount of time, what's the proper way to phrase it? Um, making out with, <laughs> made out with a chick while her boyfriend was in the building. That was silly. She came on to me. I don't know. Man, uh, if I go down, I'm taking them all down with me. That's how it's going to end. If it's going to end, uh, it's going to go out with a bang, not with a whimper. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. Because at some point, all good things do come to an end. And I'm not going to let it go out any other way but then the crazy party where everyone dies at the end. Just explosions. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be the finale of all finales. Yeah. I'm drinking cognac, by the way. It is Mardi Gras.